took a small eternity. The world did not come back into full focus immediately, but left him in a haze, left him dazed and only able to see one thing clearly. He started not understanding as Siegfried von Schroeder crumpled to the ground without a single sound. He died with a look of shock, betrayed anger on his face. He died without his victory. Suddenly remembering what the victory was, Darren McKinley shot forward, holstering his weapon only after making the attempt at least three times, and he dropped to his knees and skidded across the floor. So focused, he did not notice Joey Wheeler and Tristan Taylor rushing into the room. Oh, God. He checked, dread adding tens of tons to each arm, and hoped to God that... He's alive. Mokuba's alive. He's okay. Oh, thank Christ. We... we were... back there and found this... this... There'll be time for that later. We need to... He stopped. He suddenly remembered. Seto. Oh, shit! Following the detective's gaze, Joey's and Tristan's eyes went wide as they saw the CEO of Kaiba Corp. He was still on his knees, gun still clenched in his right hand, which had fallen limply at his side. His eyes held the cold, distant terror of a man looking straight into hell. Holy. The shields were down. The impeccable, untouchable armor was gone. Seto no longer had the presence of mind to hold up the facade he had been straining so mightily to maintain since stepping foot into the Von Schroeder mansion. And without that facade, they saw him for what he was. A frightened child. No, not just frightened. A child touched by death. Help me get this son of a whore off him! Move, you idiot! Quickly! He's in goddamn shock! He's not in his right mind, and I'm pretty damn sure from here, Mokuba doesn't look alive right now. Go get that damn thing away from him! Tristan, you help me with this! Siegfried was heavier than he looked. It took Tristan a moment to peel him away. He kept his eyes alternating between his task and Joey's. He breathed deeply, and when he finally managed to help the detective untangle Siegfried from Mokuba, he tossed the body unceremoniously aside. Darren lifted Mokuba from the floor and bit his lip when he saw that the boy was still crying, but unaware of anything. Trapped in terror, he saw nothing. Blood trickled down from one corner of his mouth, and Siegfried's own blood coated the back of his head. It's okay, Mokuba. You'll be okay. He saved you, kiddo. Your brother saved you. Your stupid, reckless, hopelessly brilliant brother saved you. You're gonna be alright. He walked over to Seto. Joey had managed to coax the young executive to give up his weapon. But when Darren held Mokuba out to him, Seto took the burden without speaking. Without thinking. Seto stared down a bit but, just like his brother, didn't comprehend. Oh God, Mokuba, get up, get up. No, no, please wake up. No, 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 God, please no. No, no, this is not happening. It couldn't happen. No, no, mother. Please, make it leave. Make the nightmare leave. Mother, mother. Oh, please make it leave. No. Mother. Mother. Father. No. No, no, no. Mother. Please. Yes. Yes, this is right. <laughs> this is right. Mother, isn't this right? Look, mother. Look at how I have failed! Yes. Look. Look, Mother. Look at how I die. Yes. Father is angry. No. Not now. Must listen for Mother. Mother will come soon. To tell me I have failed. Will not listen to Father. No, he cannot. Never. Never He's alive, again. Seto! You did it! You fucking did it, Seto! He's alive! He's okay! No response. Seto! He's alive, Seto! He's okay! What? What is... What did... Who? For the love of God, man! He's alive! Alive? His brother was alive! There was just enough cognitive function going on in his head now for Seto to realize 
that his mind was clouded. He could barely think. The only thought that came in full force was that Mokubo was alive. Everything else was hazy, distant, and seemed not to matter. Seto decided that was fine. That was just fine. Nisama's here, little one. Enough of him had come back that he realized he still had a job to do. He still had a purpose. Siegfried had been wrong. The world had not ended. The world moved on. And he could move on with it. I'm right here. You're safe now. Nisama. You're safe, Moki. You're safe. I've got you. I've got you. It's okay now, baby. You're safe. Go ahead and cry. You're safe. <laughs> no! Well, here's open that's over, huh? We can hope. But we should get Mokuba to a hospital. You don't just pop back from a fright like that. I need to call this in, get everything straightened up with my captain. The last thing we need is for Seto to be branded a murderer. Sick part is, that'll probably still happen. Fuck all to whatever we do. The whole thing was being broadcast online. Caught everything, right up to when Kaiba took him down. I don't know how many people saw it, but I'm betting plenty. I'm almost surprised. Sick son of a bitch. Well, never mind. He doesn't matter anymore. Come on, let's get them out of here and checked out. You two help them. I'll call for an ambulance. Uh, detective? What? I, uh, guess I was right. A, uh, at least a few people saw that video. What are you talking about? Looks like about 50 of them are out here. Fuck. 